The finesse procedure is a minimally invasive office-based procedure that's performed under local anesthesia. On the patient that I performed the finesse procedure on today, she came in with complaints of recurrent sinus infections and allergy symptoms. I treated her aggressively for her allergies with medications and allergy shots, and she had received numerous courses of antibiotics. Despite this, she continued to have symptoms and to continue to need recurrent courses of antibiotics. Based on this, I obtained a CAT scan, which demonstrated narrowing of the outflow passages of the sinuses and scattered mucosal disease in her maxillary sinuses and her anterior ethmoids. Based on the symptom complex, recurrent infections, and CAT scan findings on today's patient, I felt that she was an appropriate candidate for the finesse procedure. Now that we have all this topical anesthetic sitting under your lip and in your nose, we're going to let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll be back. And it's a very gentle, smooth motion. And the angle I'm bringing it down to is going to be oriented just towards the sinus. Now I keep the sheath in place and withdraw the trocar. And now through this sheath, I'm going to pass the endoscope. And now we're going through the sheath. We're watching this on the video now. And we're entering into the sinus cavity itself. And with a little bit of angulation, I have a nice view of the opening to the sinus. And feeling my way into the opening, and we are in. And now we're going to inflate. You'll hear sort of like a Rice Krispie type sound in your sinus. Inflating. Now. Inflate. Excellent. And I allow it to stay up for about five to six seconds or so, and then slowly deflate. You're doing okay? Uh huh. Fantastic. Go in a little bit farther and do another inflation. Go ahead and inflate. And deflate. I hold the catheter as the inflation is occurring so that the balloon doesn't push itself out of the ostium. Go ahead and deflate. Very good. And once I know that it's fully deflated, I have no resistance on it, and I'm going to go ahead and withdraw it from the sinus. Look back up, and now we have a nice wide ostium, significantly improved from before. And then gently retract the trocar sheath. And we're done with the first side already. Didn't feel anything going in or anything like that. Right. You know. Very good. Um, because the size of the puncture is so small, and the way that the lip sort of curls on itself in that location, we don't even need to put a stitch. It just heals up on its own. Okay. Very good. That wasn't bad at all. Fantastic. Wish I had it done years ago. <laughs>